Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. Apologies, it's been a while. Uh, I've been a little ill this month, but I am back. And yes, today we are going to be looking at Grip. Now this is in Steam's Early Access program, and it is currently £12. Now, what is Grip? Well, Grip is a super fast combat racer. Now, I was a massive fan of Roll Cage on the PlayStation 1 back in the day. Now, that came out in 1999, I believe. And uh, this is kind of like the spiritual successor to it. Uh, it's got a couple of the uh, same devs from Roll Cage. And it's also got quite a few of the artists who worked on Roll Cage Stage 2. So, like I said, this is in early access. Uh, but yeah, you have got these weapons we can play with. So we've got a sort of like a minigun, a couple of uh, missiles, uh, like little mine. That is like a little, uh, like, shield. That's obviously a go faster uh, kind of thing. Now the EMP, it does say it's coming soon, but it's actually in the game already, and that obviously is a electromagnetic pulse. Uh, but yeah, let's hop in. We're just going to play some one player. Now it doesn't have multiplayer currently. Well, that will be coming. Uh, it will be being added in the future. Uh, now you can play two player split screen currently, uh, but we're just going to play some one player now there are a few different types of games you can play like a normal race elimination death match playground where you just like muck about uh, time trial obviously just you and the track but yeah we're gonna do a race now you've got two different types of uh, vehicle you've got the dominator and the dreadnought uh, now i'm gonna go dreadnought because i just like the look of it now there's only i think yeah Four maps currently, but they are going to be adding more down down the line. Like I can say this is in early access, still a lot to be added. And um, we're going to play this map because I think that's my favourite so far. And, uh, yeah, let's do this. So I'm playing on a Xbox 360 controller, uh, which feels great. The handling's great. I love it, and it just feels so fast. And look at it; it is gorgeous. Let's go! So yeah, you've got different cameras. You can go like right into that mode if you're one of those. Or you can pull it back to about there, which is quite nice. That's how I like to play. But yeah, so if you've never played Roll Cage or any of those types of games, it is just a wild, um, just a wild racer. As you can see, you've got like this four-wheeled mobile but the wheels are actually bigger than my car so if you do like flip upside down you'll just keep going which doesn't totally make sense because i guess the wheels are going to be going the wrong way but it works it just works and yeah you can like ride up walls and oh it's great see i've got a mine i'm going to drop that and i do have sort of like a kill feed on the bottom left so if people do hit my mine or I'll blow up people, you better see that in the bottom left. But yeah, let's go round here. Oh no, I missed that power up, that pick up. And it just feels great, and look at that, like that missile. Looks awesome. I think we've got the MP there as well. Let's kill these guys full of lead. Yeah, it's just super fast, looks gorgeous in the Unreal 4 engine. And yeah, it is just super fast. Now I'm using Shadow Play to hopefully get like the smoothest footage I can. I've got like the graphics pretty much maxed out. Uh, playing 1080. Oh god. But I know YouTube sometimes doesn't isn't great at compressing. Uh, oh god. Let's just reset. Yeah. I know YouTube isn't great at compressing stuff especially like racing games at a high frame rate so hopefully we'll see how it, the video comes out but if it's a little bit like pixely that is just down to YouTube's uh, how they compress it because uh, I know like before when I've done like project cars and 
uh, Grand Theft Auto, it's uh, not always compressed very well. I keep getting EMP, stop it. See how you got like little power boosts here? Oh god. Let's go and get that then. I'm going slow. But yeah, I just love it. Uh, you know, there's not that many of these sort of futuristic type races. Whereas like back in the day, there were tons of these. Like we had Wipeout, we had Roll Cage. Like the Wipeouts were really big. Um, I did enjoy those, but I were, I were always more into my Roll Cage, to be honest. But yeah, you just don't seem to get this type of uh, racer anymore. And it's real nice to see that uh, it's coming back. So yeah. Do definitely have a look at it on Steam's Early Access. I'll leave a link in the description uh, to the Steam store page so you can go and check this out yourselves. Uh, they seem to be updating it quite frequently. They've added like uh, a couple of new tracks and they have been messing about with the physics a little. It seems to work. Like I've played about an hour or so just doing these races and I've just had a lot of fun. So yeah. Just looks gorgeous though as well. Gorgeous. I'll show you another uh, like uh, lap after this on a map. Sorry. I'm doing all right. I'm winning for a change. Let's use these. So. Yeah, we're on the last lap now. Yeah, you can look behind you. So you got, oh no, that's like a, a lock on launcher. And you can look left and right if you want. Yeah, probably not best do it. God, probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Yeah, it, it looks, I've got to say, it looks bloody beautiful. Keep getting blown up by lock-ons. Now, where am I going? Yeah, it's been miles ahead, which is nice. Oh, that hit me. So that should be the win. Yes. Awesome. So I will show you a, another one of the maps. Uh, just give you a little feel of some of the other ones. Uh, quite like the snow one. It does remind me of one of the original levels. But let's do... Let's do this one, the industrial one. Yeah, 12 pounds is super cheap in my opinion. I paid a lot more for roll cage back in the day. And yeah, you got like multiple options here, like you can go through the tunnel or up the hill. Let's go up the hill this first lap. effects you get on the edge of the screen when you use your boost. Oh god! I'm doing so well. 
So I've got an EMP, which would be handy if I were in first, I better use that to take out the homing missiles and stuff. track there. So yeah, there are uh, some parts of the environment are destructible, like uh, when we're going through that rocky area, uh, I think someone had blown something above which we're falling onto the map, which is cool, so it gives it that um, split second feel. If you haven't played split second, that was a very good racer. Just look at the speed, it just Feels great. Like performance as well. Like compute, like CPU performance is great. From what I've uh, played so far, I've not had any frame dips on any of the maps, which is really good to see. I do have quite a good rig, uh, so that helps definitely. I mean, I that off, Let's go! Not doing so well this time. Here's a tougher map though. I've only played this one once before. Get him! Oh, I got him. I got someone with my. Haha. <laughs> oh, I can rate pigs there of this. Yeah, ninth. So yeah, I need a bit of work on that second map. Well, yeah, that was uh, Grip. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Like I said, I'll leave links on the Steam, to my Steam store page uh, in the description. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye.